The Oddity is an emulation of the classic and legendary Art Odyssey synthesizer, which itself was initially seen as a direct competitor to the Minimo. On the surface, many of the differences between the two instruments seem to have been almost created by committee. The Odyssey had sliders, the Minimo had knobs. The Minimo had modern pitch wheels, the Odyssey had proportional pitch control. The Odyssey was duophonic and the Mini Moog was monophonic. And it was all of these differences that gave it enough character of its own that it quickly became acknowledged as a tour de force in its own right. I'll give you an example. Here's one of my favourite things about the Oddity, the ability to take a straightforward analogue type synth sound and make it nasty as hell. As I said earlier, the Odyssey was duophonic and the Oddity can be monophonic or duophonic. And in this case, I'm going to make sure we're in duophonic mode. And the reason for this will be revealed later. So, here we have a single oscillator playing a simple sawtooth wave. Which is pretty run-of-the-mill stuff. I'm going to add a second oscillator to the equation, and you can hear that we've detuned this against oscillator 1 to give that chorus sound. Now one of the great things about the Odyssey, as opposed to the Mini Moog, is a dedicated ring modulator. And in this case, we're also going to turn that up. And the reason I chose duophonic mode becomes evident when I play a second note. Now here I'm playing a C root note, and all the other notes are effectively harmonics of this. Here's the G and the E. Now the wider these intervals, the nastier the sound becomes, as you can hear. However, take our second note outside of these harmonics and you start to get into some pretty nasty yet highly musical territory. Another feature that's unique to the Odyssey and Oddity is the ability to take an LFO and with the aid of a lag slider progressively round off the edges of an LFO waveform. Now you can make this re-trigger on each note to create a seriously funky vibe to a sound. Okay, so here's our sound. Now one of the things that the Oddity can do which the Odyssey can't is add dynamic control over the filter. And that's what we're going to add here. In the sample and hold mixer, we can add a waveform and assign it to the filter. When we introduce it to the filter in terms of sample and hold, you can hear the result of a sawtooth waveform as it steps through. Let's just introduce that into the audio mixer. Similarly, you can hear the result of adding a square wave. Now we're going to introduce a degree of both square wave and sawtooth for a slightly more random result. Okay, I mentioned the LFO lag slider before, and adding varying amounts of this, we can hear the edges of the LFO waveform become progressively more rounded, from subtle to overkill. Now, instead of having the LFO constantly running, we can choose to make the keyboard trigger it each time a note on is played.